Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Harry Torn. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Stranded, Ellie and Dawn on the PlayStation 5. So we really need to tame these guys here. They're great for meat. Who knows what else they can provide. But yeah, we really need to tame these guys. But we don't have the animal taming unlocked just yet. Because we're still working on the construction basics. Which is what we need to be able to get like some structures going. Now we can do fences. So we could put a fence up around this. But if like there was nothing else to be done, then I could see doing that. But there's all these other things these, these guys gotta do. Connor's excited about his skills. He said my Did skills are improving. <laughs> I'm getting better. <laughs> He sounds just like that. <laughs> I feel like Connor's pretty impressive, honestly. Yeah, me too. So far, he's, I think he's the best character. I mean, like, he's got the good combat skill. His cooking's great. Look at that healing skill. He's the, the best at healing now. He's tied with Ember. He's physical. He's got a lot of good skills. If you look at, like... And I'm not just saying that because he's supposed to be me. <laughs> if you look at some of the other characters, Ember's pretty good, too. You know, she's got a lot of uh, variety here with her skills. She's smart. And then Laura's probably our least impressive character. <laughs> <laughs> she's really great at farming, though. I'm so good at plants. Yeah. And then Quinn, he's got some pretty impressive squ skills, too. Oh, I forgot we were still doing that. Well, we discovered the glitter cows. So if gathered and cooked when fully matured, you can eat them. A decent substitute for vegetables. But normally they're quite toxic. You need Poisonous. a healing balm, though. That seems useful. Gotta grind it up. Okay. Do we need any, like, tech to be able to do that? Oh, you can make shroom torches. Okay, so yeah, we might want to harvest some of that. And Laura can do that, because that's her main thing, is the harvesting. Wandering around looking at plants. So yeah, let's set her up to harvest some more. So let's go. She can harvest these. And then we're also going to want her to harvest. We'll just do those for now. I guess we can set up like a couple more. Just like one or two here. Alright, so all that will get harvested. And Laura should do that after she's done sleeping. Is there anything new that we can cook with the buttermelon? I can take a look. Because, yeah, we do need to be cooking. So let's take a look at our recipes here. Uh, grain porridge. So we can make that with the grain. Oh, what is going on? Laura is vomiting. Why? What'd I'm she eat? pregnant. <laughs> oh, no. Is she pregnant? <laughs> Whose baby is it? Hmm. What is going on here? She just got a stomach ache. Look at my tummy. She consumed rotten food. Why would you do that? So is the meat soup completely rotten? Oops. Let's take a look here. I mean, it's not completely rotten, but... It's still let's, good. I feel like we should throw that away. It smells fine. Let's throw that away. But it makes me happy. Because <laughs> it made Laura <laughs> throw up. Uh, so there's the buttermelons. We got a lot of that in here. Okay. So, and then we got the grains. So I don't know that we can just straight up... I don't know if we can make anything with these. It says mount for one meal is ten, so maybe. Can you just straight up eat them, though? I don't think so. I think you got to cook them. It looks like there's a happiness effect if you do eat them, though. It might be considered raw food, too. So let's take a look here. So we don't have the meat to make the meat soup. I didn't know you could make, oh, that's cooking the emergency rations. So probably the grain porridge. How much of that grain porridge, uh, how much of the grain do we have? We have 30. 30. It takes 10 each. Yeah, so we can make three of these. So at least we have something. So we'll do three of those. Is there anything else we can actually make? Oh, the veggie soup. Okay, oh, so that's is what that you with make. Oh, the buttermelon? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have 200 of those. 
So they do go bad, so you know what we should probably only make? Let's just make like five. So Connor will th throw that away and then he should start cooking. Because like, he's our chef. Why are you throwing up on the bed? Yeah, like out of all the places <laughs> to throw up, she's like, well, that's where my feet go. Oh, so. and then she's going to go sleep there. <laughs> At least she didn't like go <laughs> get in another bed. Yeah, like throw up all over that bed and then mm -hmm. go get in this one next to Quinn. <laughs> Uh, all right, so he's cooking up a meal here. And because he's over here cooking next to the beds. Yeah, Quinn's not getting any sleep. Quinn's not getting good sleep. I mean, this just is a bad situation here. And really, we should stop marking things to be observed because it seems like they prioritize that over the other stuff that's more important, like the damn research. But we'll let her finish that because she's almost done. And she walked all the way down there. True. She's like, I almost know what it is. Just give me a few more minutes. <laughs> All right, so Connor's cooking. Oh, look at him go. Just smacking that bowl. Gonna be tasty. He's like, this soup gonna slap. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna make you want to slap your mama. That's how good it's gonna be. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's a big old pot. Oh, where'd it go? Just disappeared. He ate it. All right, so we got the grain porridge. Simple meal made of boiled grain. So it sounds disgusting. Mm. I bet uh, this is one that's going to decrease happiness if you drink it or eat it. No, happiness effect. Plus it's six. It's delicious. What are you talking about? Because Connor's an amazing chef. It's like cream corn. So under a roof, it'll last for four days. Okay. I never understood why cream corn was a thing. It's not good. It's not. Like, what even is it? It's corn. Is it like corn and more mushy corn? Or is it just <laughs> corn and like a corn syrup? I, I don't know. <laughs> Send me questions. It's not good, though. That's all I can say. Ooh, so Amber's, Amber's going to running. eat. Did she ever finish that? Uh, it doesn't look no. like it. <laughs> Connor's about to melt down. Hopefully he'll get happy from the cooking or from the, the, the food he just made. Oh, he still has a lightning injury. Yeah, I don't think you can just like. Uh... Oh, his brain's damaged. <laughs> oh no, that's the nanites. That's the nanites. Like he's got brain damage. But yeah, he does still have the the lightning damage. He'll never be the same. Could become permanent if the patient gets electrocuted again. <laughs> so let's hope. The patient doesn't get electrocuted again. Connor just lives in pain. Hey, okay. we got a crossbow. And Quinn is better at crafting. Okay, so what we want to do is get that equipped. Probably for Laura. Yeah, we'll have Laura equip it. Quinn's not a fighter. And it hasn't been equipped yet. Or it hasn't been uh, put in the inventory yet. There we go. So we'll have her equip that. Although I don't want her coming all the way back to equip that, but... Too late. Too late. <laughs> Alright, so she get that equipped. Unless she'll have... At least she'll have a good weapon. Or she gets attacked or something. Alright, so lots of food has been cooked up. Good job, Connor. He's still cooking. And so everybody will have food to eat. And Quinn is still crafting. He's going to do that last crossbow. So it looks like Ember went back down there and finished this up. And we can harvest it to get a sweet syrup. Ooh. And you can use it for cooking. And you can just drink it raw. Just raw dog. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have, uh, we're going to get this set up to, to be harvested. So that'll get harvested eventually. And Ember's going to research. Thank the maker. Good God. Come on, guys. Who's going to be the first to drink from the giant tube? <laughs> yeah. Who drink wants of some? my nectar. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants this white, juicy nectar? Oh, wow. Mm hmm. It's a bit lumpy for my taste. I'll let Ember do it. <laughs> <laughs> and Ember has been encouraged by Quinn's words. I love how they talk to each other while crafting and put these next to each other. Mm -hmm. Or just anything. They don't even have to be both to be crafting and researching. They could do, they could just be just standing over here. Hanging out. Yeah. I think that's awesome. 
Laura's bringing the food. She just carried 160 melons. Impressive. And no one appreciates her. <laughs> Good job, Jinx. Thank you. <laughs> oh, the meat's back. Oh, they probably put more meat back on there. Hmm. I'm not sure I want all the meat always going on here because it seems to take forever to get dried. And it seems to be a, despite being made out of wood, to be the place that the lightning wants to strike instead of the metal here. It just that strikes sense? wherever the meat is at. <laughs> yeah, wherever That's our food is at. That corner. Yep. Right in the butt. All right, well, at least we have lots of food options. We got that taken care of. I was a little worried for about our, our food supplies. But we're looking pretty good now. And we have those sweet syrups now as well. So somebody already went down there? Was that Laura? Oh, there she goes. So Laura <laughs> is slurping that, <laughs> that syrup up. Yep, she's we pulling it right out. She gets all that white goodness. <laughs> oh, she's hungry now. Mm-hmm. Like all these noodles. <laughs> so it looks like we're finally gonna have this research, maybe, unless unless Ember quits. She's gonna she could, she's gonna need a snack. We're at ninety two percent, guys. That's what we've been waiting on this whole time. I thought we'd have that done for episode two, so like we could start construction. Days ago. Yeah. If I knew it was gonna take this long, I would have had the walls built. But uh, we're so close now. And I want to know where our structure is going to be. She did quit. <laughs> that sucks. She's going to sleep. She's tired. Everybody's just sleeping in the middle of the day. She's like, I worked hard. Hmm. I wish I could just sleep in the middle of the day. I feel like we need to, like, set up their sleeping schedules or something. Because, yeah, they're just kind of sleeping at, like, random times. Like, do your survivors sleep through the night yet? <laughs> they don't have good beds either. That's true. How much did we tell him to cook? I feel like he was done cooking, but... Can they get fat? Because Laura is always eating. <laughs> oh, I guess I made, told him to make 10 veggie soup, didn't I? That's true, he did. Yep. He's like, this is serious. Oh, wow, that stuff is very green. Yeah, it doesn't look tasty. Very veggie. But it'll get that plus six happiness. They seem like they eat quite often. Oh, and we got the, the bandages crafted as well. All right, excellent. So hopefully they'll use those rather than all of our med kits here. All right, Ember is going back to work. Okay, get that research done. Because I, I increased the, the priority for the research prior to last episode. There we go. We did it. We did it. Woo, we won the game. <laughs> we got the, the construction basics. And so now we can we can begin some construction, which is great because Quinn is idle and he's our construction guy, so he won't be idle much longer. Get to building, fella. So we're gonna want to do the housing. Here we go. Shroom torches. She said, mentioned that's air vents. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the floor. What type of floor do you want to do? Wood. These wood floors here. Either wood or stone. Just, you know, I guess you gotta click on it to see the different options. So you got the scrap metal. We actually have plenty of scrap metal, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got an abundance of scrap metal. So could do that. Wood does look better. Uh, planks, I want to say we got that. If you buy the game, if you pre-order the game or buy it before, I don't remember the date, sometime in May. It's like two weeks after release or something like that. Then you get these planks, uh, the plank type of material. Also the metal floor, which that would take metal alloys, which you don't have much of. All right, so I, I guess we'll do the, the plank floors. What do you think? Oh. It looks nicer and requires less wood, right? Yeah, but the wood is stronger support. Oh, yep, I didn't see that. Yeah, this is strong support. We should probably get that. Also, scrap metal floor is very weak support. Mm. It has awful thermal insulation. I was thinking about that. I was wondering if there was going to be a difference in the temperature with the different materials. We could do stone floors. It's not much better than wood, but I think I think the wood breaks down quicker or something like that. I'm not sure I mean, how it works. I would think so. What's the integrity? Well, they're both the same integrity, but... Hmm. I don't know. We could go with the stone. Yeah, I mean, it's the same construction level. I think it's just which one we'd prefer look-wise. Wood or stone. And I guess there's the resource, too. Somebody would have to go collect more stone. We don't have a lot of wood, either, though. What do you think? Which one, Jinx? Stone. 
Stone it is. Stone floor, wooden walls. Okay, so we're going to do, we want to keep it away from this area here because that's where is fertile. So we actually are probably going to want it right here somewhere is what I'm thinking. And the first thing is just going to be a bedroom for the beds. I don't know how big. Everybody's going to have to sleep together for a little while. Eventually we'll give them their, all, their own bedrooms and stuff. But uh, we could do little shacks. Like each have their... Everybody gets their own shack. And then you wouldn't have to do anything very big. Like get away from each other. Yeah. What do you think? Or yeah, you could have it like one, one space divided into four. I don't know. I was just thinking like a little, like one little building, you know, uh, with just a bed in it. Sure. I don't know if they need anything else in their bedroom. Maybe something that looks nice or whatever. They need a lava. Give them a statue. <laughs> <laughs> you think five by five is too big? I mean, we do have to construct all this. True. What, like for the individual? Yeah. I would think like either four by four or three by three. Just starting out. That seems really tiny. The three by three. You can do four by three. Um. Well, that's what we had. Yeah, the four by three. Right? That's really tiny. They're tiny. I think five by five is probably too large, though. Yeah, we'll we, do the four by four. We don't have enough stone. True. How much do five. each one of these cost? Oh, so it's 48 each. Maybe we'll do, like, some stone and some wood then. Well, I think it's 48 for the total. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, but remember, this is only for one bedroom. Mm-hmm. And so we'd need this times four. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Plus everything around it. Okay, let's do that. And then we'll put this on the inside, I suppose. Can you, like, flip it? You can Takes up more space that way. Probably better like this, right? I like it like that. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Okay, so that's the first one. And we need the uh, the stone to be collected. So we have some sources of stone over here, I think. I'm not actually seeing any. There was, anyway. Did we already collect it all? Oh, there's Here's some stone. There we are. Okay, so we need to order all this oops, to be collected be mined I guess that'd be the, the correct thing here so mine all that is this a uh, mineable stone as well I think so all that down there so we'll get that collected that mined as well yeah there's a lot of stone available here we should be able to get plenty and so Connor should go doing all that. And yeah, we'll get this first one built here. And somebody will get to go inside. What is Laura doing? She was idle there for a second. She saw you looking. She's like, I'm doing stuff, okay? Very she's important doing something. stuff. I think she's going to collect the stuff to bring it over here. Oh, yeah, she's going to help. Mm -hmm. She's like, I help. Ember's sleeping. Connor's mining and Quinn is constructing. So yeah. what is the next thing we got researching? Spaceship deconstruction. Probably not the thing we need the most. Probably not. No. <laughs> I'm like, should we just finish it? So there's something here I really felt like we needed to get. Oh, the taming. Animal taming. And that's a quick one, too. And we're going to actually move this to the first slot here. Because, yeah, this still got like uh, 12 hours or so left since that's a one day one. Well, what other is ones? so basic. Like, you just give the critter Snacks. food. Mm -hmm. And then you wrestle them up and love it. <laughs> Let them know you're not going to hurt it. All right, so we want to get the tailoring done before the spaceship deconstruction. Looking at other things, uh, antibiotics seem kind of important. Yeah. Just want to put that in there. Pickling. That's always helpful. Mm -hmm. What would we eat? Pickled butter, buttermelon? 
Brewing, that's important. Pickled corn cobs. First aid kits. We can make toilet paper with corn cobs. We <laughs> could, yep. All right, I think that's good for now. Yeah, I think that's good. And we know how long it takes for them to research, so. So it looks like everybody's sleeping with Quinn. He's a night owl. He's working. He's, He's having to carry the stone over there himself, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so he's getting the floor constructed. He likes this kind of work, though. Okay, so now we need to set up the next part of the house here. The walls. So would we do room or wall? I'm wondering what's the the difference between doing it this way. I think the room automatically adds the roof. The roof, yeah. Oh, well, this is actually the whole thing. This is four walls, floor, and roof. Oh. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. I suppose you'd want to do it this way if you're trying to use different materials. But yeah, you could just do it like this and it would do the whole thing for you. For like the stone or whatever. Okay. So are we want to do a whole stone building? Mm. And then have some wood buildings and how are we wanting to do this? I don't know. I would think we could just do the wood walls. Is there a reason why we're not or doing the planks? The planks look better, but let me just see if there's any difference here. Since they're both medium thermal insulation and they all have a hundred integrity, so James doesn't want the stone walls. Do you want the the planks or the wood? I think the planks look nice. Okay, we'll do the planks. And yeah, there's no difference here, unlike the floor, where there was a difference. All right, so we'll put these in all the way across, and then we'll put in... Do we want a window? Don't the windows have, like, bring some issues? Yeah, I think as far as, like, insulation, but... You can always close the window, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to want a window or not. I think you can add it later. Yeah, I think so. And then we want to get the door in here. Plank door. Beautiful. And we want to slap a roof on there. Yep, and then we want to do the roof. I guess we do this all at once. Alright, so... Roof. Planks or wood? Um, There's no difference. We'll do wood. So Jinx wants... All the textures all and colors. All the different textures <laughs> and colors here for... For this house. It looks so nice. I guess we'll find out. Uh, we do need more wood, obviously. That's not surprising. Um, so let's go ahead and get them cutting down all this wood here. And then this here as well. Okay, excellent. Are these growing? I think so. I think those yeah. are harvestable. Yeah, I believe these are, are uh, growing over here. So let's... Uh, that's not what I want to do. Let's harvest all those. Why is it not selecting all of them? Maybe some of them aren't harvestable yet. Maybe. They're still babies. Just harvest whatever you can, Laura. It's like, I guess. I'm going to get two, and then I'm going to need a snack. All right, so next... We're going to want to get the bed put in here. An oh, actual no. bed. Connor, get inside. Yeah, I guess we could put them all inside. But then they wouldn't be doing anything. Oh, jeez. Don't get, don't get struck by lightning, Connor. He's gonna. Somebody's and gonna. Then he's gonna be brain dead. I feel like somebody's gonna get struck. And we gonna do the wooden bed? Sure. Okay, so it looks like you can pick which type of uh, fabric you're using. Okay, so you can use... Oh, I want a skin mark bed. Do we have the skin mark? I don't know if we do. Let's double I know check. I there's some in the area, but... I don't know if we actually collected that. I think we had that... Oh, is that what that purple stuff is? Yes, so we do have skin mark. We have 90. It probably told us, too, in here, if we had the skin bark. Yeah, because it would be red if we didn't have it. Alright, so let's put the bed in here. 
Where do you want your bed, Jinx? Oh, it doesn't matter. Where do you want your purple bed? That corner is fine. For right now, we could put all the beds in one room until we get the rest of them done. And then we can just move the beds. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. So let's go after all wooden beds. But may change up some of the colors. Have like one more skin bark one and then let's see if I'm able to put these all in here like this. Probably not. We're gonna need let me see here. Let's just pause this for a second. Put one here. Did I put that right? It seems. No, I think I put the bell on the wrong side. Because nobody would sleep like that. That's just weird. Yeah, I put the pillow on the right side. I would. I'd sleep on whatever side the pillow was on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that'd be weird to have your your head next to the door like that. So I can listen for intruders. And then we'll do these fabric ones. I suppose we could go like one here. You know, I don't know if I can. Yeah, I guess it could work there. We'll just put two next to each other. Some people are going to be sleeping next to each other. Oh, you can't. You're going to hold hands. All right, that doesn't that doesn't allow you to do that. Well, you could put the two long ways next to each other, kind of. Hmm? So turn one to the left and then put it in that corner. And then yeah, we could put it right here. I'm just saying we couldn't do it the way I did it. You could do it like that. It, oh, but then, yeah, they can't get around. Oh, well, somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can't get through there. So somebody's not going to be able to sleep. I mean, they rarely ever all sleep at the same time. I guess time. you can put that one long ways. No, you can't. <laughs> There's no way to do it. It's just not big enough for all, all four in beds. Dang. So somebody doesn't get a bed, basically. It's Laura. <laughs> and we got two risks of meltdown. Now just one, because everybody's all wet. They're eating in the rain. Like, mm. Connor's probably terrified right now. Yeah. I don't even know where he's at. He's over there cutting trees down. Maybe the tree will get it instead of him. Although, I don't think we can use logic when it comes to, you know, the lightning in this game. Uh, we did research the animal taming. Okay, awesome. Oh, okay. So we can now tame animals. I don't know how that works, though. As far as, like, we don't have fences and stuff yet. But, yeah, I think we should go ahead and attempt to, to tame one of these. Does it show what they like? I don't know how it works. Oops. Let's take a look. Uh, Does it give you... Food. Oh, is it down here? Yeah. Some type of berry. It won't let you go down there? No, you can't really... You can't really do that. Dang. Blueberries. So, yeah, some type of blueberry. Hmm. Can you tame these guys? Uh, we haven't, uh... They're too simple. Yeah, they're too simple. Never mind, I thought, it was, I thought it was a research problem, but that's not it. So we need to be on the lookout for blueberries, then. I haven't seen anything like that yet. Yeah, I haven't seen any blueberries, either. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where we get those from. We have seen the usefulness of these, though. Yeah, those are nice. Let's go and harvest more of these. Maybe we'll leave one. So get those harvested. Laura will take care of that for us. But yeah. So far, I don't think anything's been struck just yet. Oh, don't jinx it. We're <laughs> jinxing it. Now you see, we've gone through a lot of our material. I'm wondering if there's any use for these uh, scrap metal. And we got our roof done. So I believe. You know, we can't see that here because we need to go and turn this on. It looks so nice. So this is the... Oh, we built it further out than it needed to be. Oh, dang it. Well, that's a nice porch. So there's a porch here. <laughs> <laughs> I messed that up. Hmm. We built the roof out further than it needed to be. Yeah. We could get that material back. There's no reason to keep this material here, Jinx. I think. I feel anyway. Hmm. Yeah, it might not let me do that. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Deconstruct that part. 
It should just be this, right? You would think so. The deconstructs? We'll see how this works. I don't know. It feels like it's going to deconstruct more than that. Yeah. I guess we'll find out. Oh, well. Nobody wants to do it. They're scared. <laughs> the whole thing's going to come crashing down. So yeah, hopefully this works out. I mean, we could just leave it on there, but it looks weird. I like it. I just wish it was an actual porch now. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't I don't like how it's wood at the bottom one. I could cancel that order if you want, Jinx. It's fine. We already used the resources. Well, and I've already told them to deconstruct it. Oh, I see. So. Cancel. Yeah, we'll cancel that then. Like, never I mean, mind. you get the resources back. Oh, you do? Yeah. Do you get all of them back? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we haven't really, like, looked into, like, how much resource goes into each little thing. Okay, so I guess we'll leave the porch on there. Um. What? <laughs> uh, what did I do? Yeah. It's, like, each part. Okay, so we canceled that. He's going to tear down the roof. <laughs> Well, that's what needed to be teared down. Oh, I see. Okay, he's still, he's still going to deconstruct stop. something. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's good. He's not going to tear it down. Oh, jeez. We stopped Quinn just in time. <laughs> he's like, I'll do it. We don't need no water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's one built. Uh, we want to get the the rest of them built, and I kind of feel like just doing it through the room. Yeah, I think that would be a good way to do like it. Like just one stone one? Mm -hmm. Just I want to see what they look like. I'm curious. They don't all have the same taste. They want different things. Yeah. Uh, we're going to keep them all close to each other. What do you think? Like two is enough? Yeah, I would For think walking so. through there? All right. Yeah, that looks good. And then we made that one too big, so we want... It to be the same size, but it just doesn't get the porch. Four by four, right? Yeah. So yeah, we'll have the porch. Oh, that's interesting. This one has the wood. And thus it doesn't have the little... Hmm. Can you not change this type that you're using here? Does it have to I be the wood? I think you can. I think that's just the door that you have selected. But... Oh, okay. Oh, I see. All right, yeah, I want... I want this little... Uh, the stone steps. Do we have to, like, put that here? Yeah, it should be right here. There we go. And just the same placement, I think. A little bit of uniformity here. You could have the ladies in one room and the dudes in the other. Not that they'll go. <laughs> they'll go there. They'll go where they want. Oh, that's true. I don't know if you can assign beds and stuff. I'm not entirely sure how it works. I suppose you we can. Think so let's take a look. So we'd want to do is ring the room down. Let me just select these. Oh, yeah, you, you can. can. Okay, so this is Laura's. Okay. And this can be Ember's. Yeah, because how would you, you know, favor your? <laughs> Your yeah. people. Uh-huh. Give them the good stuff. So Laura's getting all that food out there. So this unlocks taming of, of the observed species, of course, but also animal sheds. Oh, and feeders. Animal feeders. Animal sleeping spots. Oh, wow. All kinds of stuff. And we've got tailoring. We'll probably need more stone for that. So let's go ahead and get that set up so Connor can take care of it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Connor's having a meltdown. He's, he's got not the, feeling so good. He's got the gun, too, so <laughs> who knows what he's going to do with that. Is there... Oh, did they go, like, postal? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Connor, go lie down. <laughs> Play some darts. Yeah, he's he's quite stressed out. Is there any stones over here? No. 
There is stones over here, though. That might be closer than where we're sending these people. So we got those collected as well. Are these blueberries? I think we might have just found the blueberries. Oh, peculiar bush. <laughs> okay, let's observe this, and you can see they're eating that as well. Yeah, that makes sense. We should have just looked at where they are eating, where they are going. All right, so we've gotten that, and we researched the tailoring. So this allows us to get the wood tailor bench and the metal tailor bench. So meltdowns occur when the happiness of the survivor gets too low and stays like this for a while. During a meltdown, the survivor becomes completely uncontrollable and presents a specific behavior like food binging, hiding in a room, or becoming catatonic. You can attempt to knock out the survivor and interrupt the meltdown with a direct order. Mm -hmm. So he's doing sad wandering. Oh, <laughs> Poor guy. I wonder how long he does that for. Forever. Why didn't he go play darts? I made that for you, man. Why are you sad, Connor? I think it was working in the rain that got him, but and all the pain he's constantly in. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're the one who shot the nanites in your face. He's burned out. He just chopped too much wood. And well, it's I mean, dark. he's been carrying stones all day too, hadn't he? Well, he was chopping wood at the time. Oh, lumberjack is hard, especially when you're the only one with the lumberjack body. Hmm. Somebody else has got to knock him out. Yeah, I'm not sure if we want to do that. Do oh, we what's really going want on with Ember? To attempt to? What, what do you mean? Oh, I don't know. That the icon was weird. It's oh, not no, that's, red though, so that's not. Yeah, that's just the uh, observe icon. So she's going to observe that blueberry plant, plant uh, which we need to uh, get to tame. Maybe he needs to pet a cow. Yeah, maybe that's what he needs in his life as a friend. I I, I saw on the trailer. That the animals can like help them out with their their happiness. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if there's anything you can do besides knocking them out, or if he'll just eventually, you know, just kind of snap, snap out of it. it. You'd think he'd eventually like get hungry or something. Like, come back home, Connor. We need you. Because his happiness is actually in a worse situation. Another settlement needs your help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got some uh, dried meat, by the way. Oh, yummy. So that is done finally. Okay. So we got dried meat. And I think we're still working on this here. Quinn's been working on it. But unfortunately, that is probably going to have to be the end of today's episode. How long until these are done? We've almost got our crops done. Not that we need these crops. <laughs> We've got plenty of uh, wild ones over here. That we've been harvesting. But we got them, I suppose. Laura worked hard. She worked crops. hard on those crops. A lot of idling, watching plants grow. Clearly we don't have enough stone because, of course, Connor... Well, he's he snapped out of it. He's going to go take a nap. Okay. So that's good. Connor's out. Out of it. He's going to go sleep next to Quinn. Because we did not assign Quinn this bed yet. And I guess they don't sleep in the bed unless you assign it to him. You can just it's shared, whoever. Yeah, we'll just do the shared for now. Whoever wants to sleep there. But it is a bummer they're sleeping here. Especially Connor. I mean, yeah. he could really use a good sleep in a, a decent bed. As for the food, just make sure we have some. We have the five veggie soups, which are only about half good. Sorry, Connor, but you're going to have to do some more cooking. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we're going to have to have them cook a bit more. Oh, these all just stay in here, huh? I guess you can reassign it that way. Are any of these, like... No? I was going to say if any of these, like, increase happiness by a bit more. But none of them do. Yeah, because we only have the four left. Did he move to the other bed? No, he didn't. I was hoping he did. Look at Laura's over there working hard. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we'll assign Connor or whoever to do some cooking. And I guess we should do the veggie ones, right? Yeah, I would think so. Because that's what we need. That's what we have a lot of. Yeah, we have a ton of those. Mm -hmm. We do need to harvest some. Did we get the blueberries or did we get enough of them? I don't think we've uh, identified it we yet. We just, uh, oh. Oh, he's still working on that. She's still working on it. She's still working on it. Yep. I thought Quinn, because, you know, that's his passion. 
Quinn's doing the construction, I actually turned down his priority for the observing. Oh, okay. So that he would work on research and construction instead. Because we already have three people who can do the observing. So there we go. That's Fruits. that's what we needed, guys. The fruit bush. Those are the blueberries. Or, you know, berries that are blue. Bush fruits. <laughs> this is how you make wine, Jinx. Oh, that's shit. what our people need in their life is some wine. I'm going to get the honey tubes. I'm going to mix up some berries. Mm-hmm gonna be off the chain okay so clearly we need to get some of this harvested laura okay there's a lot of that out there i'm gonna pet a cow while i'm out there <laughs> we gonna tame a cow that'll be your job actually because that's part of the uh the farming that's the same skill the animal stuff is all the farming mm -hmm. skill um so yeah let's go and get all this harvested uh maybe a, i don't know how much we're gonna need here let me do a bigger one. There we go. So we'll get a lot of harvest. I don't know how long that'll take. Probably a long time. It seems like a lot. Yeah. Probably too much. Maybe I shouldn't harvest that much. I don't, I don't know. Because she carried 130 melons. It's not that she can't carry that much. <laughs> it's more that I'm worried it's just all going to go bad before we can use it. True. But if it goes bad, then it isn't a wine. I don't think the game works like that, but I don't know. Because, I mean, it's not like if you just have some berries and they go bad, you just have wine. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not how just it works. put them in your pocket until they start to stink and then drink them. All right, so she's getting 30 from each one of these, so yeah, I think that was probably plenty. All right, so she's taking care of that. Quinn's researching, it looks like. Instead of building, unfortunately. <laughs> and Connor and Ember are mining. I think the reason why he's not building is because we don't have the stone. And Laura's done, so now she's idle. So what we're going to do is when we come back for episode four, we're going to attempt to tame one of these guys here. So we're going to designate, I guess, just this one, right? It's a yeah, female, large female. Might be easier to do a female first. I'm not entirely sure how it works. And then we'll get the rest of the family. So yeah, we're gonna tame that one first, and then yeah, I suppose we want to get the other, the other two. Well, the whole family over here, the baby, the mommy, and the daddy. So yeah, we'll get them tamed. But we don't actually have anywhere to put them. That's true. So that needs to be constructed as well, probably around here somewhere. I don't know. I was thinking we need a common area. I wasn't put that here, but we also need to get the walls because it seems like I don't, I don't know if it's at a weak marker, but maybe we'll get attacked again by those those beetles. So we need to get the walls going too. So a lot of stuff to do here, guys. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.